Okay, so now we're ready to assemble the light sensor circuit. We're going to start off with the photo cell. Again, this is our photoresistor, light sensitive resistor. We're going to plug this from row 1 down to row 5. And then next from row 5 to row 10, we'll plug in a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Brown, black, orange. Again, from row 5 down to row 10. I try and keep it in multiples of five so we can keep track of where everything's plugged in. Now, that's the part of our sensor, uh, the sensor part of our circuit. We need to provide power for that. So we're going to run row one over to five volts on the Arduino board. And then we'll run the other end of the resistor at the bottom here in row 10 over to ground. So right now, when we plug this in, we'll have a completed circuit and that complete circuit starts at the plus 5 volts from the Arduino, goes through the red wire across row 1 to the photo cell, and then to row 5, and then across the 10 kilo ohm resistor, across row 10, and then along the black wire back to ground and the Arduino. Now this is exactly a voltage divider. The point between these two resistors will be at a, a lesser voltage than the 5 volt difference between both resistors. So if we sample the voltage at pin 5 and send it over to the A0 input, the Arduino board can read that voltage and actually make a voltage measurement that depends on the amount of light shining on that resistor. So again, the light amount changes the resistance of this photoresistor, and that's going to then change the voltage on this wire, which the Arduino can sense. So the input stage is already built, and you could actually code it and program it and, and have it work. The problem is you don't really necessarily know, so we want to create an output stage as well. So we're going to use a simple LED. You know how to wire these up already. We're going to plug the, the anode into row 20, the cathode into row 25. Again, you can tell the anode has a rounded side, the cathode has a flat side. You can wire that up just like that. Then we're going to use a current limiting resistor, a 220 ohm resistor from row 25 down to row 30. So that's the elements. Now we just need to connect the Arduino to this. We're going to use digital output pin 2 and connect that right here over to row 20 so that can power the LED. And of course we need to complete the circuit by connecting row 30 to ground. And we can use the ground over here on the digital side of the Arduino board. So we can separate our output stage from our input stage. We've got an input photoresistor and an output LED. Power comes from the digital pin 2 through the orange wire along row 20, through the anode to the cathode of the LED, through the current limiting resistor, across row 30, and back to ground on the black wire. So you should be able to wire that up and give it a shot.